Hi everyone, Stephanie coming at you with a Limelight Foundation tutorial. I'm very excited um, to do this for a couple of you that have asked and um, I have used the same foundation um, before I discovered Limelight for years and years and years and pretty sure it's not even available any longer. Um, so I'm really glad that this one is. Um, I'm going to jump right into it. I took a photograph that I'll post of every product that I'm using. And here's the thing. Foundation is exactly that. It's the foundation for all of the rest of your makeup. So if you're looking for a quick fix um, and you're slapping on with your fingers or a little sponge, some liquid foundation, um, you're probably getting streaks that you don't even know about because they're in this area here where everybody else sees it, but you don't even see it. Um, you're not getting into the little red areas around the nostril. Everybody else has to look at that, but you don't see it in the mirror. Um, so we're gonna avoid some of those mistakes by using a foundation system. Okay, this is not a single product. Um, it is a collaboration of products and it's really important. Um, if you wanna step up your makeup game or you just wanna quit having to do touch-ups, um, you can follow these steps. Um, I'm not recommending this, but I have been known to get by with about two days of this foundation. Um, and it looks pretty amazing. That video I did the other night live, that was about 48 hours after application. So uh, anyway, diving right in. Foundation brush? No, that's a blush brush. No, it's not. It's a foundation brush. No, it's a blush. Okay. Sorry, this is a big fat blush brush and it can be used for foundation. This is what you wanna use if you want a light, somewhat transparent evening of the skin tone without it looking uh, heavy at all <coughs> and without it covering up every little element on your skin. If you want a heavier application, then you would use this little brush right here amazing. All the limelight brushes are vegan, synthetic, and they're pricey, but they are awesome. And I fully recommend that you just buy the whole set. Just put your big girl panties on and do it. Okay, today I'm going to use the blush brush. I'm going to go into Shinto 2. And whatever one this is, I'll post it later. A little mix of both. And I'm just gonna go over my face. I am not scrubbing this on, okay? It's a very light pass with very light pressure. Uh, can somebody say it for me? Flippin' amazing. Yeah. Before. After. Wow. Okay. Other side. I'll show you again. Swirl, swirl. Swirl, swirl. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. You could do this blindfolded. Seriously, I'm gonna close my eyes. Just feel it. Get it everywhere. Voila! You can still see my skin through the foundation. You can still see tiny little imperfections which is kind of what you want when you're not going to be completely dolled up. If you're going to cover your whole face and make it look plastic, you had better be doing one hell of a job on your eyes. Otherwise, it just looks like you're wearing too much foundation. Okay. So that is just the coloring of the skin. If you stop here, you will look like you have more even skin, but you have what somebody recently referred to as 
moon face, okay? There's no dimension to your face now. There's um, no light bouncing off of it. Um, and we need some contour and some highlight, okay? Um, most people refer to what I'm about to do as concealer. Call it what you want. That's the name of the product that I'm gonna use, but really uh, you're highlighting this area right here. So this bone, your cheekbone, where it starts to get soft, you can feel the edge of it, that's called your zygomatic arch. And when people have bags under their eyes, they're trying to conceal the difference between the soft skin here and the firmer skin that's being pushed out by this bone. And what we're going to do is try to make this and this the same color, therefore sort of camouflaging the fact that there's any difference between the hard space and the soft space. So we're going to highlight from here to the nostril to here. It's a triangle effect. What most people do is this, which is basically highlighting the fact that you have bags under your eyes. Stop doing that. All right, I'm going in with my finger because as my, I wish she was my good friend, but I'm really just a stalker of her, uh, Kendall Watts, reminds us that this waxy concealer really likes the warmth of your skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down to my nostril, and I'm just press and pull, press and pull, press and pull really fast. Get all the way, just go right over those bottom baby lashes. Just pretend like they're not even there. Get all that pink out from between your bottom lashes. Right into the corner right here. And all the way down. All right, now you have to switch hands to do the other side. Why? It's not just because I said so, but it's because this finger doesn't fit. You see, I gotta stretch and do all kinds of weird yoga crap to get my finger over here when this one was made, oh, just to fit right there, look at that, okay? So, we're not writing in cursive, y'all. You can do this, it's it's just padding. Go back to the product, a little on your finger. I'm gonna get just a tiny bit more. Pull it down. And at this point, you really want it to look maybe just a little too light. You ought to be going, hmm, not sure about that. Because once everything else comes into play and you set it and you uh, do the rest of the contour and everything, it's all gonna work out just fine. All right, so we're highlighted under the eye. Any leftovers that you have can go right on the bridge of your nose. And then I've still got a little bit of redness in my chin. I'm gonna knock that out. Okay, and now we are ready to set. Setting powder, uh, Limelight setting powder is mm, amazing. It's uh, very similar to Ket, which is a professional product um, that professional makeup artists have been using for years and it's celebrated as one of the best setting powders out there. Um, the makeup artist that started this um, whole thing uh, went and basically copied that formula. I hope I'm saying that right. I'll correct it if I'm, if I'm wrong. All right, so setting powder. Wow, that's white. Yup, but it's transparent. Now, until you do this, you're not wearing foundation. You're wearing wax on your face. This is what keeps it from moving, from going anywhere. 
and it really does just a miraculous thing to your face by sort of just adding a layer a veil sort of um, really just makes it look smooth and amazing okay now we're set now I'm going to use this brush this is an angled blush brush to do the contour oh let me go back real quick this brush is kind of a pointy blush brush so it fits really nicely under the eye okay back to this one and the contour bronzer it's called the perfect bronzer because it's perfect for everyone don't argue all right below the cheekbone and to the ear back and forth back and forth back 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 and forth temple forehead it's a C except backwards okay now same thing on the other side you don't have to use your other hand for this You can very clearly see the golden triangle of my face coming into shape and all of the extra parts are sort of disappearing and that's exactly what we want. So we want the focus to be on the eyeballs and in this area here. No one really needs to be drawn, to, drawing any attention to this or this or this or this or this. So we're just getting rid of it. So think of contour as an eraser. Then I'm going to just go down the sides of my nose with a tiny little pat. Just so we don't have light bouncing off of the nostrils. Okay. Voila! Glowy and healthy looking. That's what we have here. If I do say so myself. Um, all right, next blush. I'm gonna use this one because it fits this little spot right there. And y'all, I didn't even put any blush. That's how strong this stuff is. Whatever's left over from yesterday is just about all I need. Tiny pat of blush. blush with a little bit of sheen to it is going to give you uh, movement as you're talking and and um, laughing and interacting with people light is bouncing off of the apex of the cheek and sending a lovely message of happiness out to everyone um, blush also I I really like it to stay here uh, a lot of people a lot of makeup artists go kind of out um, and it's just a matter of opinion. I really like it right in here so that the color looks natural like a blush that has sprung from within as opposed to uh, pink stuff on your face. So um, here is what I would call foundation. Um, I have a theory that foundation is what makes your eyes stand out more than anything else. Uh, if you're waking up in the morning and you're slapping on mascara to try to make yourself look awake, you would do much better to put on concealer instead. Um, that's going to go a lot farther toward looking wide awake. When your skin doesn't have any competition for color with your eyes, people land on your eyes and they rest there and then you can be heard and known and not be distracting anybody with anything else that's going on on your face. So that's kind of the idea behind foundation. You're getting rid of other color so that the color in your eyes is really the standout splash that's catching people's attention. So uh, I forgot to put on the primer. <sighs> um, so my face is going to all fall off in five minutes. No, just kidding. It's not. Um, I should have put on primer first. I forgot. So I'm going to put this on. This is your 16 hour makeup finish. 
and so far I gotta tell y'all this stuff is pretty amazing the primer uh, the the primer that goes on first and the finishing spray uh, really does seem to make um, a pretty significant difference. Um, I have tested this stuff, y'all. I have tested it um, beyond um, <laughs> what is normal. Erin uh, and I went to the river. I swam. I sweated. I drove around with no air conditioning. I fed the horses, I came back in. I mean, I, I spent a whole day doing all kinds of stuff um, before I even decided that I was gonna sell this to anyone. Um, and it, it just doesn't go anywhere. It just doesn't, you gotta take it off. Um, we'll talk about that on another time, but lovely ladies, here is your foundation tutorial. There's nothing to it. You can do this. Now go glorify and edify. See y'all later.